Hello, the internet. I found another nursery in Richmond, Virginia called Cross Creek Nursery, and I walked right in, and you can see there is a tree filled with variegated ivy behind me, which is kind of awesome, and then there's another one back there. So that's kind of cool. We're going to go inside and see if there's anything that I can find for houseplants, so. They've got um, perlite here, not or perlite. Lava rock. It's not, it's pumice. Pumice is the thing that the word is. Lots of look. Oh wow, we've got some big looking things here. Anthurium palmanii. Oh, that's a really pretty portal line. We have some snake plants. Oh, they have this one. I don't remember what that's called, but that's really pretty. people here so I'm not doing a lot of talking but look at those orchids look at the one back there They have tiny, tiny little Hoya compactus. So lovely, there's a Crimson Queen there. Oh wow, it's a Crimson Queen with a lot of white on her. That is a very large one to cut. <laughs> wow. That's <been> crazy. <laughs> oh, a snow bush. Oh, cool. Yep, allocation of some variety. Odora. Okay. Yep, just looking around. Thank you so much. Yeah, just let me know if you need anything. Oh, wow. I see this Isn't that lovely? I've never seen anybody do that with the 
It looks like a silvery end with all the silver on there. Same price as Lowe's. So. These plants are attacking me. They keep having me bungle bits. Okay. Looks like watermelon pepperoni. I hope they're not doing great. Oh, there's a the little also. There's kind of smaller ones here. Oh, okay, and they actually have them labeled the other place too. Just really, really pretty. I've never seen a silver ant in person before. Hi, Leah. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Oh, a little bit of hair, right? Okay. Now I'm just paranoid. I'm feeling like stuff's touching me, and it's just air. <laughs> Cord line and flower, kind of like pretty. There's easy plants over here. There's some water features, which are cool. Out of sodii that's definitely not doing well. There's little leaf figs and tiny little plants here. Terrariums, I assume. Oh, I always wanted one of these with the water comes out and then it runs down over the ball. I don't know, it just seems like a fun water feature. We got a lot of really big stuff back here. It says succulents, but the succulents are actually behind us. We're going to go back to them last because they are my favorite. coming to actual nurseries because they have like you know the plants that have been here forever and they're super huge and you just look at them and you're like oh my gosh you know some proteins nice color on them ficus audrey oh this is a what is this ficus altissima yellow gem it's got variegated I even like these leaves where they don't have any yellow on them, they just have the different colors of green. That's super pretty. Oh, I have my ficus tunicky back there. I'll have to see how much that is without stepping on anything. $15 for that. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so here's the rest of the ficus section. Got some pretty cool. They have a whole bunch of crotons, but different shaped leaves than I normally see. Like, these ones are really long and kind of ruffly on the edges. Um, and these ones kind of have a, like, an extra little bump on each side. Those ones are super, super bright. And those ones are all kind of ruffly. And they've got lemon trees. There's small crotons over there with, like, the bigger leaves. And then we've got some peace lilies there, and some little moss guy growing up here, and ivy. I assume that's like the ivy that they have outside. There's a little piscina, and some larger um, alocasia doras, pothos, oh, and some silvery ann and. These are 20 bucks, but look how much silver they have on these. I'm glad I got mine, but 
And then they've actually got, no, those are satin pothos, satin pothos, and these are silver yams over here, and those are just gorgeous, but I don't think I can handle the price tag that's on them, because they are also 20 bucks, both of these are. I mean, they're fairly large pots, but um, neon pothos, some smaller silver yam here, um, philodendron, there's some monsteros. Oh, they have some Rapidophora tetrasperma. Some little Rapidophoras, too. Um, so philodendron of some variety. Little fill. You know that one. But they also have some tiny black cardinals. So that is one that I'm definitely interested in looking at. Because I would like a black cardinal. And they have some larger versions of them. In light. Oh, they still have these under code on them. I think they are. They got classified as something else. We have the French orange here. But I've already got one that I'm super happy with. So obviously I do not need them. African violet section over here. We've got some cool ones with leaves that are with variegated. There's some tiny little terrarium plants. Tiny. I always love the tiny little alocasias. Oh, I got Interesting. Yeah, these always are so funny. Now I can get a tiny little bird's nest bird. <laughs> and now we're back over here at the succulent section, sac cactus and succulent section. Let's see what we got. Pithelium, Pithelii. I think that's what I have. Um, that's kind of a pretty guy. Oh wow, that's only $24. Huh. Wow, that whole thing. Fortunately, I do not want a cactus that looks like that, so... Oh wow, that's a really big one of this. I wonder if mine would like to be a hanging basket. I don't know, under... Oh wow, they have all these adorable little succulents. Look at them, so tiny. So tiny! They have some cute little arrangements. There's a cute little snail there, I love that. Some pretty little cacti. Oh, these are those dual ones? Yeah, desert gems where they have like all the color on them. Oh. Here's my little guy that I just got online, only this one's got all the leaves still on it. I'm hoping that the one that I got will bounce back after a little while. Uh, that's a shame if I had known that would be here, but you know, it was months ago when I bought it, so there's really a, nothing I can do about that. And these are, I like those. Those are really cool, but I have not decided I really want one yet. Aloe vera. Lots of different aloes. Some adorable cacti. And, you know, a succulent. <laughs> oh, strings of dolphins here. I think for the amount that I got, I probably got a better deal. Pearls. They've got some with the spent blooms on them. That's a cute little ring. Oh, okay. Get some Pawarthians and some Ficus elasticums down there. I don't know why those are there, but sure. Hmm. I didn't know hen and chips did that. So if they can't find a soil to be in, they just kind of go.
Oh wow, that's a lovely jade tree. That is, man, that is thick. Look how thick that root is. I mean, that st stump is. Oh, they have Horthia tessellata there too. See, I found it and now I'm finding it everywhere, even at the lows. Oh, they have more of those cute little, uh, I know, I technically have one, but I'm all worried that it's gonna die and then I'll be like, oh, well, I wish I had gotten one. I have, a, I have this Horthy already and it is actually doing okay. Uh, I'll have to think about it. There's some other stuff that I'd like to get and I can't really be buying duplicates of plants if I... Oh, is this that one that you touch? Yeah, it is. I'm not going to touch it because I always feel bad people make it. But look how big it is. Look at those branches. Aren't those cool? I've never seen one this big before. And... Yep. Little lip ups. Some other Hawarthians over here. No, oh, another little warty. I've got one of those. They're cute. Mm. Oh, is that my Crassula? That one looks much healthier than mine. <laughs> There's some Hawarthians that I don't have. Oh, and there's another larger one of the sensitivity plants. Oh, and they have some adeniums here as well. Let's see how those feel. Okay, yeah, their stumps don't feel any different than mine do, so, and those are definitely healthy, so mine is doing perfectly. Alright, so now I'm going to look around, there were a few things that I might want to get, and I have to talk my husband into being okay with that, so, but, okay. Alright, so we're going to do an overview of everything. 